Hi guys, in this video, I am going to discuss about data list control in ASP.NET. So, what the data list control? So, data list is a data bound control. So, by the help of the data list, we can bound the data from different uh, sources like Microsoft SQL Server, Oracle, and any other data list. So, I a data bound control to display and manipulate data in a web application. So web application such as ASP.NET and here this code that I already written to save some time. Okay. So this code now here if you go uh, waveform.aspx extension here you can find data list control and here this is the ID and here run it server so that means it will run on the server and here i set a standard property and here border color read and here width 4 pixel self heading cell spacing and here grid lines and repeat columns and width and here you can check at your footer stamp you can give any color and here this is the item stamp so inside the item that we display white and black and your this is the border width so if you go at your designer and here you can select so here this is the data list and if you make this bigger here you can see all the properties so here by here so clicking this you can set at your border background and your border border strand and your border width, CSS, style, all those things. And if you click on this event, so here you can find cancel command, delete, and it item, and your select and update, all those things. And here this is the item create, item data bound, data binding, and this all events are there. So this video I am going to show you. Suppose at here, this is EMP table, it's called EMP table, it's selected and if I execute then I want to select some columns like EMP name, E name, job, MGO. So this four columns that display into the web browser with all the records. So suppose I add here this has some records. So this will display EMP number, this 7369, E name, job and answer like this this will display so for this add here if you go at your source and here you can uh, see this is employee number so whatever you return so this will display into the browser so add here this is item template first add here employee number and here this is label one and here it will drop on the server and your text. So add here I include ENP number. So ENP number is the column of escort of ENP table. Now here I am using even method. So by using even method, so it, it evaluate data binding expression. And here that is string that accept a string expression. So enum I selected because add here. If I take so here you can find enum job and mgo. So here I have given enum emp number enum job and mgo. So according to that you should give add here this. So employee number here employee name job mgo. So whatever you return add here. So this will display to the browser. Add here I have taken. 1, 2, 3, 4 label control and label 1 has the ID label 1, level 2, level 3 and level 4 4 level control and 4 different IDs are there. Now here after let's go add here waveform and here after so first I use add here SQL connection and here SQL connection so it's a class and add here I created the object class with the help of new 
and here tensile character. So this is the constructor and here it is string it was a string connection and here if you take the cursor at this point so here you can get initialize a new instance of the SQL collection class when giving a string that contain connection string. So right here data source. So data source I have given text of this values. So why I have the given this values? So if I go at this point, disconnect and connect. So in SQL server, so at here this is the server name. So this I copied and here paste at this point. And here to initial catalog. So initial catalog so I have given. So let's connect at this point. And if I go to the database, and here you can find add-in database. So inside add-in this table, I used a scott on emp. So add-in is the database so that I have given add here initial catalog add-in. And you should include add here indicated security equal to true. So after that, it will connect with which is to be that will connect with SQL server. Now, here after when you click add here, when you execute or this waveform, so add here first that will load add here with or paste that will load add here not is post back. So about the post web property that to already discussed. Okay. So it will not to is post back. And here if you take the cursor, here you can find about the is post back. Get the value indicate whether the base being rendered for the first time being load. So right here when this condition is true, so here that will go inside data list. So this is the one method. So when control comes to this point, fact is that try to search data LST method. Now it will come to this point. And here data set is the class and here I created the object DS with the app of new and here data set is the constructor. And here after that con dot open. So by using open method, so it will open the connection. So if you take the cursor, so it will display open a database connection with the property setting by the SQL connection. So whatever the SQL connection property set, so it will open the database. Now here I have taken a string str. So select a start from em dot emp table. So it will select all the columns from emp table. Okay. So if I this all columns are there and all the records. Now here after SQL command, so right here the present transaction SQL store proceed to execute SQL server detail. And here creating CMD new and here first it accept. At here two parameter first is a string and CMD text and SQL connection. So here on is the object of SQL connection and str that comes from here. So this str has uh, stored this on values. So whatever the columns and records that go to str. Now here after SQL adapter. I created the object ATP new SQL adapter and at this point so whatever the value of this two that go to SQL command and here this SQL command passing inside SQL adapter. Now here after add stop fill. So fill. So if you take the cursor at this point, so add the wrappers row in the data. So it will row add the row. So what was the row that will add? ADP is the SQL data adapter. So by using SQL data adapter represents state data command database connection that are used to fill the data set and update SQL server database. Now here after ds dot table so table zero index at here so it will accept get all the connection table contain the data set okay so that I have given the ds object so ds object to data set now here after first data list so data list I combined at here all the rows and columns 
and here after data list one so that will find data bind so at here bind the control it's child control as it specific data source listen to the binding so when i execute at here so it's a executing so here after we go at this point so at here data set data list has the id data list one so this data list i use this point so at here data source so here get the source containing list of the values of related to the item so it will get the source at this ds dot tables so at here here ds is the object of data set and here tables so all the at here get the collection table containing the data set of collection that go to at here at this point data list data source and here after it to the binding so this is the things here so if this condition is true so that go to data list here after that go inside so it will do all the process and here now here after let's check that so it's the add still executing now here after here you can find uh, so add here cost is we need to use add here item template to add this all this thing so if you are if you are going if you are doing any kind of mistakes so you cannot get the right output so still this is running add here so suppose employee number and here you can find something from values okay emp number one so it, you cannot get the right output so whatever the columns it it's here so you should get according to that so this is the output that i'm getting so first is at here employee number 7369 and here employee name smith and here job is the color and here mgr7902 and here after that will add here 7499 so at here it's a display 7499 and here allen salesman and 7698 now here you can count if you scroll down here you can find 14 rows or there so if you take at here you count so this is 3 3 6 9 and here 12 and here this is the 14 at here rows it's a display at this point so it's a combination of employee number and your name job and mg it's a display at here So suppose so uh, at here let's so go at here at this point if I keep at here MP number four. So MP number to set in exit inside at here on a spot dot EMP table. So if I execute to this table, so let's see what will happen. I'm getting the some kind of exception data binding system data data row view does not contain the property mp number 4 so i am getting the exception so you need to keep at your right to columns after that you can catch it the correct output ok so if you keep at your mp number 4 mp number so this columns that exit in the or database table at your mp number you can find so this is the important aspect at here. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next video. Thank you.